<clears throat> Alright guys, well, he's back again. Well, I think I'm back again. I, I think I am now out of jail here as of Tuesday, January 25th, 2022. Um, so this is kind of a test run getting out of YouTube jail for my... Uh, latest, uh, you know, my community guideline strike for, uh, <clears throat> you know, I mean, I need to step so carefully here, you know, for spreading medical misinformation here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. So anyway, YouTube did me the favor. I have to just go ahead and eat this little piece of tangerine. YouTube did me the favor of giving me a two-week break from Humpty Dumpty Tribe. This is, I think, the longest break I've ever had from Humpty Dumpty Tribe in uh, the 13 years that I started this. Two weeks without uh, talking to my invisible friends on YouTube. Now, of course, that little eco pussy Sam Mitchell still has that other channel. <clears throat> but anyway, two things have happened over the past uh, two weeks and that have, uh, I, I'm really happy that uh, I had this break from the cop bots because it has one thing that has happened. It's given me time to reflect on uh, not only what I want to do with this channel, meaning Humpty Dumpty Tribe, uh, and I've been having this conflict with myself, you know, for at least two years, where I want to take this channel or do I simply want to put the final bullet in Hambone Little Tail's head and just bring down the curtain on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and then decide what to do with Collapse Chronicles? So I don't know. Maybe I'll just come out here and just uh, keep spreading medical information, misinformation till they yank my channel down once and for all and put Hambone Little Tail and Humpty Dumpty Tribe out of its misery forever. But the other thing that happened in, uh, in uh, the last two weeks that actually happened on Friday is that I sold Crazy Crane Campground. Uh, we closed this real estate deal. And... Wow, what a long, strange trip. Uh, two years, pretty much, well, two years and two months ago, I first found this place and met the famous Lulu, uh, who uh, gave me the lessons in, in petty tyrants that Don Juan uh, <laughs> advised I experienced. So... You know, this whole notion of that these little bliss ninnies are always talking about better than ever could be expected. Well, I'm going to say it right out, guys. What I did was I basically, these numbers are rough, I basically turned $20,000 into $50,000 in, in less than two years. I, I did not even buy this place to flip it, okay? It, it's just the way that the universe, uh, the, the universe, the overheated real estate market, and most of all, Lulu blowing her brains out, all conspired to uh, help me uh, flip this property for two and a half times what I paid for it two years ago. This is probably TMI. You guys are uh, figuring out how much money that means Hambone has in the bank right now. 
won't be quite correct because I'm already out shopping for another uh, property to flip in Florida. Uh, but it's a lot uh, easier to be a seller in a sizzling hot market than a buyer, but I am going to buy something. Before I leave, I am going to buy another piece of Florida swampland here in West Florida that, knowing full well, will be underwater in a few years. Okay? And seeing if I can get one more flip out of it to sell to uh, some clueless fucking moron, uh, you know, a couple of years from now. Uh, let my money grow. So I'm taking uh, a lot of the money I just made and putting it back uh, into a, another real estate cycle that uh, I really had not planned to do this uh, and, until literally the, the, the uh, last couple of weeks. And, and I don't mind saying, guys, it was a hell of a lot of fun. It was a hell of a lot of fun to turn $20,000 into $50,000. It, it, it is the single greatest uh, joy uh, I have experienced, uh, you know, probably in well over a year. It felt damn good, you, you know. It, 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 I wish I had put $200,000 in and I would have $500,000. It felt goddamn good. Being a, uh, being a, well, not a house flipper exactly in this case, but a real estate flipper. You know, that's what I did with my life uh, for 30 years. That's what I, I mean, I was a real estate agent, but I was mainly a house flipper. This was the 22nd uh, property that uh, I have bought. And uh, so out of the 21 that I have flipped, I have lost $3,000 on one. Uh, my, my record in a lifetime now uh, of 21 flips is 19 wins, uh, one tie, and one $3,000 loss. Uh, so that, that is my world record. I have never added up how much money I have made uh, flipping real estate uh, over my lifetime. But real estate has been damn good to me and it doesn't matter how long I have been down here in the Doomosphere, I love it. I love everything about this game, okay? I've been addicted to it uh, since I was 30 years old. That I, I cannot, it doesn't matter how deep into the doom and gloom I got, I cannot drive by a fucking for sale sign. That's the only reason that I had a cell phone in my truck uh, for the previous four years was because I could not drive past a fucking for sale sign particularly a little for sale by owner sign without calling and find out. I, I, I am addicted to it. Uh, real estate has treated me damn well uh, over my lifetime. Uh, when, when the game is going right as it has gone for me uh, 19 out of 21 times, uh, it, it, there, there's, it's a great feeling, you know, and, and I have nothing uh, to be ashamed about. Well, hmm, maybe I have something to be ashamed about, uh, but, but I, I, anyway, uh, I, I have had that, so now what uh, I am doing and thoroughly enjoying. Uh, so what I've been doing every day pretty much for the past week is going on, uh, you know, having a cup of coffee 
uh, in the morning over there at Collapse Chronicles finding some fucking doomer porn uh, to read out about how this planet is fucked and the humans are clueless fucking morons. I, I, I spend about less and less of my day, particularly since Humpty Dumpty Tribe has not been available to me, uh, the, the whole doomer portion of me uh, has gotten smaller and smaller where I spend less than an hour a day uh, down here and uh, I really appreciate my lieutenant sending me the doom. Uh, you know, all of you guys sending me all of this stuff. I don't have to do any work. I just have to open up my fucking email. And, uh, and, and somebody, uh, that's certainly, well, the past two days, three days. Uh, and then what I do, so I spend about an hour of day, a day over there in the doomosphere down there at Collapse Chronicles. I, I get rid of that shit. And, and then I spend the rest of my day, the rest of my day, uh, you, you know, in my addiction. And that is sniffing out, you know, going out there and uh, putting the old ham bone analysis uh, on, on uh, these different properties and, uh, you know, driving around, looking at all of these places, uh, you know, going on a lifetime, and, it, and it's still what's amazing to me after doing this for half over half of my life is how much of it is still just intuition, and how much of it is still just a hunch. Uh, that uh, it's it, it's the pendulum, I've heard it. You know, every time I see a property, and, and, and I know a property, when I drive up in the fucking driveway, I don't have to get out of my car, whether I, you know, whether the pendulum immediately uh, swings. Uh, so that is what I have been doing uh, in my absence from Humpty Dumpty Tribe is hoping that I'm going to find another place to uh, buy for $20,000 and in a couple of years flip for $50,000 to some other clueless fucking moron uh, completely uh, who has no knowledge or interest in the fact that the piece of land that I am selling him is going to be fucking underwater uh, in, in, in a few years. You know, Brother Jeremy was sending me this article from the Wall Street Journal today how, about how West, the Western Florida is the single, the single most sizzling real estate market pretty much on the fucking planet right now. I am in ground zero. It's West Florida. Uh, has been discovered right before it goes underwater. And the, the real estate market here has gone completely out of fucking control. And, and I'm absolutely loving being part of it. Uh, I wish to fuck uh, that I had bought three or four pieces of property two years ago. Here, I'm in Citrus County, by the way, is where I am. And, uh, but anyway... The, the larger version of all this, this is the, this combination of this break from the Doomosphere, compliments of the uh, cop bots at YouTube talking about me spreading medical misinformation here in the oasis of freedom. Uh, by the way, I just uh, was noticing... Uh, uh, that Florida this week was the 37th out of 50 states in the number of corona panic cases. Are you following me? That 36 states had a higher rate, uh, I guess, per 100,000 than, than Florida. 36 states 
uh, having more people coming down with corona panic, 12 states uh, having fewer, you, you, you know, uh, the, the, the infection and hospitalization rate and whatnot. Here in the oasis of freedom, and I'm getting off track, uh, but I do absolutely love living in the oasis of freedom. That is exactly what Florida is. It is the oasis of freedom. Two thumbs up for Ron DeSantis. <laughs> yes, a doomer giving Ron DeSantis two thumbs up. But anyway, I'm getting off track. But what this, uh, you know, what has really come clear to me uh, in the last two weeks is, uh, is, is, is the whole question, am, am I finished being a doomer? Am I, am, am I just fucking done with this? I, I have been saying from day one since I got down here in this shithole, anybody just starting down this path get the fuck out of here my you know my number you know my introduction to Humpty Dumpty tribe is welcome to Humpty Dumpty tribe now get the hell out of here I have been saying since day one there is nothing uh, about uh, you know living down here in the doomosphere that is going to do anything for you uh, I mean, look around at this fucking place. You know, I, I, I'm sitting here in this fucking dump, sitting here, uh, you know, drinking by myself, uh, 12 feet away from a couch uh, to where some psycho bitch blew her fucking brains out. Uh, you know, what the fuck am I doing here with my fucking life? What the fuck am I doing here? If I hadn't gone down this fucking path, I have no doubt, I have no doubt uh, that, that I would be at least a millionaire, probably have two or three million dollars. I would probably own 10 homes in Austin, Texas. Uh, I would be sitting in a room full of friends. Uh, we'd be out somewhere having a nice dinner. Uh, you know, I would be at a picking party. And, and uh, you know, I might actually get some fucking pussy tonight. I mean, what the fuck am I doing with my fucking life? You know, so anyway, this all ties in. Uh, this was, uh, if you go over there on Collapse Chronicles, now guys, I'm just going to sit here and, and, and yak until the battery runs out, alright? I'm just going to sit here and rant when the fucking universe has heard enough, they can turn the, uh, they can turn, uh, this off. But anyway, if you go over to Collapse Chronicles, you will hear that little eco-pussy doomer, Sam Mitchell reading this new uh, essay from the newest, uh, the newest uh, <laughs> sensation down here in the Doomosphere, and that would be Elliot Jacobson, who I hilariously miscalled Elliot Richardson today. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna read something from that in a minute. But this was a comment that I received from somebody named Jesse987. Uh, this is just a small snippet of Jesse's comment. I have not followed the Doomer crowd in years, except for Sam, since he still tries to convey the overpopulation message and also has attempted a different lifestyle. The majority of Doomers do not do anything that takes them out of their comfortable bubbles, so they treat ecological collapse as a hobby, as a method to obtain attention and faux friendships on the internet. And uh, we are not going to name 
any names here. That is not the uh, intention, uh, but before we skirt around that issue, I want to go over to Elliot's excellent uh, essay. As I say, you can find that over at Collapse Chronicles, where in the essay, uh, Elliot Jacobson quoting Michael Mann, the old hopium monger himself, Michael Mann, uh, published in The Guardian in 2021. This was Michael Mann's anti-doomer message. Quote, Doom mongering has overtaken denial as a threat and as a tactic Inactivists know that if people believe there is nothing you can do, they are led down a path of disengagement. And it is this term, path of disengagement, that we're going to be talking about because this is the new path that I am wrestling with, and I know I'm not the only one out here. But this is what Eliot uh, had to uh, say. Um, about uh, man's comments. Yes, some people will go down a path of disengagement, as man says, but that will be their choice and disengagement, you know, from all the doomer mongering will not be wrong just because it does not fit Michael Mann's agenda for what they should be doing. Thank you, uh, Elliot Jacobson, for uh, giving me that nod. And, 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 and I agree. I agree with Elliot Jacobson and just at least the non-loaded part of, of, of Michael Mann's statement uh, that, uh, you, you know, I, this has been a constant topic of uh, this channel since I, since I started it 13 years ago. It is why I close every single, well, I try to close every single one of my rants with enjoy it while you still can, which is the 50% of the message to balance out the doomer part, that there's not a fucking thing any one of us are going to do about it. We are so fucked. And, uh, you know, for 13 fucking years, I've been, I've been, uh, you know, like a fucking parrot speaking this over and over again. It does not matter. Uh, it, it makes no fucking difference with the possible exception of not breeding. I still leave that asterisk out for anybody listening to this uh, who is still of childbearing age. Okay, other than that major exception, do not fucking bring another human being onto this fucking planet. All right? Other than that, it really doesn't make a, a big shitload of fucking difference uh, what you do as far as making a, a, a any sort of difference on the trajectory of this planet. We're going at 67,000 miles an hour into a fucking brick wall, uh, and there's not a fucking thing uh, that you or I or the fucking United Nations or Bill Gates or Elon Musk or, uh, or Greta Thunberg, uh, whoever are fucking gonna do about it. Uh, you know, the, the decision, the only thing out there, and, and how many times have I said this in, 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 in interviews, uh, is 
facing this future with this knowledge when you fucking get it on, on, on a cellular level, this knowledge with a capital K, this truth with a capital T, when you get the fucking balls to handle the fucking truth that we're fucked and you're not going to do a fucking thing about it. Your fucking vegan lifestyle, your fucking electric car, your, your fucking solar panel, your windmill, you know, uh, it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna do a fucking thing. And I'm not knocking any of this. If it helps you sleep better at night, then do it for God's sake. Uh, anything you can do to fucking sleep better at night, I fully encourage. You know, but the bottom line is every fucking one of us down here. Uh, who realizes how fucked we are, uh, the bottom line is we need to figure out basically how we are going to comport ourselves for the rest of our miserable teeny weeny little lives and get out there and enjoy it while we still can. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, looking around at, the, at, at, at this and thinking, what, what the fuck are you doing with your fucking life, Hambone? And, and, and to go, uh, you know, to speak to what uh, Jesse uh, was just saying, and, and I need to be real careful here, but I, you know, I agree with Jesse. Uh, I'm trying to think, do I know one I mean, in, in, in real life, the, the doomers uh, that I run with, who I love dearly, I am not casting aspersions. I'm just, I, uh, I am trying to think, do I personally know, I, I know there's people out there, but do I personally know any fucking Humpty Dumpty tribes member that I have ever met in, in real life that uh, has made any uh, any fucking lifestyle. Well, of course, I didn't meet people, you know, until they're already in the lifestyle they're in. Uh, now, I will say, and again, we don't need to name any names. I know of two doomers. I, I consider both of these people to be friends of mine just recently who have pretty much made the decision Fuck this. They understand how fucked we are. And with that knowledge, with that truth, they're saying, fuck it. Uh, we're going for the fucking money. We're going for the money. As one of my buddies uh, sheepishly admitted, a ham bone, I'm, I'm just going back into the matrix. That... Uh, I'm going back to now, now this person did try to make a change in their lifestyle. Divested from the matrix, got out there, and in less than one year was fucking bored shitless. The doomosphere, if you, uh, if you, uh, like, like take my path and my path, I'm going to call him Billy Bob, who's a good friend of mine probably ready to strangle me right now, but, but Billy Bob, this, this is not a pejorative statement, you know, as I told you, when you told me, you know, go ahead, brother, enjoy yourself while you still fucking can, if you go down this, this, this damn, uh, in, into this fucking rabbit hole, you are and, and going to spend more and more of your fucking life alone. You're going to end up alone at the end of the fucking road in the point lonesome swamp talking to your little faux friends as uh, Jesse called them. Uh, your little faux friends. Your, your, your little imaginary friends on YouTube. 
and it fucking sucks. I'm sick and tired of fucking being alone at the end of a fucking road in Point Lonesome Swamp. But as long as you remain down here in the Doomosphere, and guys, I have made, uh, I have met some of the greatest people I have ever known down here in the Doomosphere. People that, you know, the friendships that I have, uh, you know, turned flesh and blood. Uh, I have met here in the Doomosphere some of, uh, you know, the greatest people I have ever met. My fellow Doomers, I love you dearly. You know exactly who you are. Uh, and, and I am, in, in my life, uh, would have a big hole in it if it were not for, and, and all of you know who I'm talking about. But at the same time, I met some fucking assholes down here in the Doomosphere. You know, I mean, there's some serious fucking assholes down here. I don't need to name names. Uh, you, you can go look through some of my fucking rants. Uh, you know, the list of people that I have fucking banned from Humpty Dumpty Tribe. And I mean some of my lieutenants, you know, the most recent case. Uh, you, you, you know, people, uh, people who have been with me since day fucking one. You, you know, my fucking lieutenants stabbing me in the fucking back. You know, this is the biggest bunch uh, of fucking backstabbing, uh, two-faced hypocrites, uh, slime balls I've ever met in my fucking life. Uh, down here in the goddamn Doomosphere. And uh, I'm mainly talking about men now. And, and of course, leading the pack is, is we all know, the godfather of, of fucking Doomer sleaze. Uh, you know, that motherfucker. Uh, and, 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 and all of his fucking ass licking toadies. Y you know, Jesus fucking Christ talking about petty fucking tyrants. Uh, him and that fucking little cunt that he runs around with. Uh, the, the fucking little two-faced bullshit uh, backstabbing uh, fucking, you know, just go fuck yourselves, both of you, and anyone, any of your fucking little ass-licking toadies. You know, that motherfucker is just the epitome. And, and then, uh, that's the guys <clears throat> That's the guys. And, and, and of course, I've got to say with the ladies in the Doomosphere, and, and of course, some of my, uh, as, uh, you know, some of my best friends on the planet are the Doomer chicks I love dearly. But I, I'll have to say, you know, per capita, just the, the women that I have met. Now, I noticed that 13% of my subscribers on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles, 13% are female, 87% are men. So, 87% of them are men. You would expect to meet a few, you know, fucking backstabbing slime bag, uh, just pieces of shit. A, you know, in a, in, a, in a sample size that big, but I gotta say about the 13 percenters <laughs> uh, of the ladies in the Doomosphere, I, I'm just talking per capita. Uh, I, I have met the biggest gang of, of nasty psycho bitches uh, that, that I have ever met in, in, in one fucking cesspool in, in my entire life. Now, I haven't met a single psycho bitch in the Doomosphere holding a candle to that fucking psycho bitch, uh, Lulu, who blew her brains out six feet from behind this camera. Now, none of you are, are in her league, okay? However, there, 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 there's some close contenders. I, I have never, what is it about being a fucking Doomer chick? And this is not all of you, as I say, but, but uh, uh, I, <laughs> I'm just talking on a percentage-wise wide basis. I thought being in real estate 
you know, which is dominated by, by fucking bitches. What is it? 62% of realtors are now female. Last time I heard that statistic. I thought I had met some fucking psycho bitches in real estate. Some backstabbing fucking psych... You know what I'm saying. Lying sacks of shit. Uh, who would cut your fucking balls off with a razor if you gave them half a fucking chance. I thought that fucking real estate was, was, was full of you. Uh, but God damn the fucking doomosphere. You know, obviously, I guess you have to, particularly to be female, and, and, uh, and, and to have the fucking balls to admit how fucked we are, you got to be a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit fucking crazy, and at least you're not a fucking normie. Uh, that, that's the one thing, you know, uh, about these crazy fucking psycho bitches that I have met down here in the uh, Dumasphere. Uh, we don't, again, we don't need to name any names. I think we all know <clears throat> uh, some of you I'm referring to. Uh, I anyway, I should probably just, uh, just say, uh, it's been a real pleasure meeting you ladies, but, but I want to go out and, 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 and maybe it's time to meet some fucking normies again. You know, be careful what you wish for. When you wish for a, a goddamn woman who's not a normie, you're probably going to get what you wish for. Anyway, I've, uh... Is this battery still running? I said I was going to sit here and yak till the fucking battery ran out. But anyway, uh, I, I don't know where I'm fucking going. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking tired. Uh, 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 of the fucking doomosphere is what it boils down to and, and I'm ready to take the uh, the uh, I've already forgotten what it is the path of not inactivity god damn it see I can't keep a fucking short term fucking thought in my brain what did you say Michael man god damn it now my fucking computer is stuck uh, the path of disengagement. I, I wish the fuck I could. Uh, it's not, I mean, once you go down this fucking rabbit hole, you can't, once you take the fucking red pill, you can't take the blue pill. So I'm just trying to find the fucking purple pill. Um... Uh, this always harkens back to this fellow who I've interviewed twice, actually on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and, uh, and uh, Collapse Chronicles. This is my uh, hero, Robert Jensen. Uh, I have two interviews with Robert Jensen. He is uh, a retired now journalism professor at the University of Texas in Austin. Uh, and how I feel found Robert Jensen, how I was first alerted to him years ago, uh, he wrote, you know, and, and I can't find this. I need to email Robert and find out whether he buried it or what happened. I know it was Robert Jensen who talked about walking with your feet in both worlds. So he's a journalism professor who every day went to, you know, roomfuls of 18 to 22 year olds. I had a, 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 a good comment over there at Collapse Chronicles from a, from a uh, college professor recently. And, uh, and Brother JJ, if you want to weigh in on this. And so every day what Robert Jensen did was, you know, he went in grooming these 18 to 22 year olds uh, for their future when he knew uh, he was a doomer long before I was that their future was fucked, that they had no future. Yet he went in there and played the fucking game. Uh, every day 
And he went in there to the halls of academia and played the fucking game. And I'm sure he was an excellent journalism professor. I would love to have had him. I would, good Lord, uh, anyone who had Robert Jensen as their journalism professor, I am uh, jealous of. But what he was saying in that, that he just simply, once he went down this rabbit hole, uh, you, you know, he had two choices, whether just to completely surrender himself to the rabbit hole, completely deny this knowledge, which he could not deny. Uh, and, and this was 20 years ago uh, that, that he came into this knowledge with how fucked are you were. So he just said he has trained himself to walk through the world, you know, with a foot in each world. And that is really the best advice. But I don't know how to do it, Robert. I don't know how to walk with my feet in both worlds. How can I go and, and, and go back to flipping real estate, uh, you know, and, and, and selling uh, Florida swampland that I know is going to be fucking underwater? Uh, in, in a few years, uh, how can I go back uh, to, to, to that lifestyle, get back in the matrix, start chasing the fucking dollar bill again, and keep a foot in this world, meaning down in the fucking doomosphere. It's a, it's a, uh, it, 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 it's a hell of a balancing act, and I don't know if I'm up to it. You, you know, to uh, to be a doomer or a clueless fucking moron. Uh, but as Jesse was saying, he seems, I guess that is a male Jesse. I don't know, it could have been a female Jesse. Uh, that Jesse was saying uh, that other doomers apparently have figured out to... Uh, out, how to do it, and, and I know uh, plenty of doomers personally who live in beautiful homes. Uh, you know, they live in beautiful homes. They they are surrounded by friends. Uh, they're they're not sitting around uh, at the end of a fucking dirt road in the point lonesome swamp in some fucking dump uh, where some psycho bitch blew her fucking brains out. So I guess I'm just going to uh, try to do what they do and uh, and and and. and uh, treat the collapse of a planet as a hobby. What are your hobbies, I guess, on my, uh, on, on my pile of fish uh, profile? I'm going to have to rewrite my profile, uh, you, you know, looking for a woman walking with her feet in both worlds and uh, just put uh, hobbies uh, looking at the collapse of a fucking planet for about 20 minutes a day and then going back to flipping fucking houses. But anyway, it looks like this camera is still on. I'm wondering if I've been talking to myself uh, for the past how long. Anyway, I've got to go take a piss. God damn it, dog! I'm not ready to knock my fucking teeth out. So me and the little dog are going to go. I'm going to go take a piss, freshen my drink, and head over to Netflix while I still can. Bye, guys. I guess this is still on. I see the battery light. So this is my fucking life. This is my fucking life. There's Sancho hanging on the suicide couch. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at this shit. What the fuck am I doing here with my fucking life? What the fuck am I doing here? This is all fucking Terrence McKenna's fault.
It's your fucking fault, Terrence. Yes, little dog. You say, Pop, I just want some chicken. Bye, guys.